Okay guys, so this is the experimental setup we are going to use. This is the breadboard. You know it from all the experiment. And we are using these three resistors. This resistor to the left, 47 ohms, as you can see here uh, written. And uh, the, the uh, resistance to the right, which is R2, called R2 in the lab report, is 470 ohms. And this is the third resistor, 100 ohms, R3. And uh, from this side, we connected this power supply, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to six volts. This is arbitrary, so I choose to uh, adjust at six. This is the second power supply to the left, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to 10 volts. Now I will start measuring the voltages and the currents. I will start by measuring the voltage across each resistor using this voltmeter. So I will first measure the potential difference across R1, the 47 ohms. Yes, it says 3.256 volts. 3.25 <clears throat> and the positive terminal is to the left, the negative terminal is to the right, which means the current is flowing to the right in this direction. I will switch now to the second resistance. It says 0.75 volts. 0.75 volts, the positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right, the current is flowing to the left. Now I switch to the third resistance. It says 6.799, around 6.8 volts, and the positive terminal is up, the negative terminal is down. These are the three values of the potential differences. Now I'll start measuring. Okay, now I'll measure the three currents. I will start by measuring the current in R1. I'll shift this to connect the ammeter in series with the resistance. It says 68.05 milliamperes, the positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right. Now I will measure the current in the resistance R2. It says 1.61 milliampere, 1.61 milliampere and the positive terminal is connected to the left and the negative terminal is connected to the right. Okay, now I will go to the third resistance, R3. Connecting the ammeter in series. It says 66.89 milliamperes. The positive terminal is up, the negative terminal is down. So these are the three values. Now I will write down these values in the lab report and I will attach a photo for the tables with the data with this video.